Wing Chun is a good fighting art, but it's not as popular as other striking arts like boxing and karate. Wing Chun can be really cool because it teaches you self-defense moves. However, it is to be noted that this fighting skill is not good for MMA because it does not defend against takedowns. Wing Chun focuses on the simplicity of small, powerful movements and is a powerful deterrent for conflict between individuals. There have been some amazing Wing Chun masters, and in this video, we'll be discussing the 10 greatest Wing Chun masters of all time. Let's start then, shall we? Number 10. Liung Sheung Liung Sheung started learning Wing Chun from Yip Man in Hong Kong in 1950. He was already well-versed in other fighting styles, and he was around 30 years old. Liung Sheung was the president of the Restaurant and Beverage Union in Hong Kong. He heard about Yip Man from Li Man, the secretary of the union. The skilled warrior had some doubts that Yip Man was able to do anything because he's so short. Yip Man challenged Liung Sheung to a fight. As soon as Liung Sheung charged in to attack him, Yip Man raised his arm. The force made Liung Sheung fall down. Together with Luck Yu and six others who later stopped training for various reasons, Liung Sheung asked to be Yip Man's disciple. Liung Sheung, Luk Yu, and Chu Shong Tin were all students of Yip Man. They spent several years with him and learned Wing Chun. That is how the term closed door student came about. Liang Xiang was a chef in a Chinese restaurant and was learning Wing Chun for many years. Later, he set up his own school in Ho Man Tin and started teaching people Wing Chun professionally. Number 9. Chu Shang Tin Chu Shang Tin was born in China but later moved to Hong Kong. He started working as secretary of the Hong Kong Restaurant Workers Union. There, he met the famous Wing Chun Kung Fu master Ip Man, who was teaching members of the union. The two men spent a day together. At the end of it, Chong Shu Tin liked his new friend, and he understood that he was committed to Wing Chun and wanted to build up his health. He was a fast learner of Wing Chun and later became famous as the king of Siu Nin Tao, the foundation of Wing Chun. Number 8. Luk Yiyu Luk Yiyu was one of the first students of the great Yip Man and trained with him for nearly eight years. At his time, Luk Yiyu's Wing Chun mastery was well known all around and was particularly famous for perfectly doing two of Wing Chun's forms, the Luk Dim Bun Guan and the Chum Ki Yu. He was the ideal combination of power and finesse, and because of that, he's also known as the King of Chum Kiyu. Number 7. Wong Shun Leung Wong Shun Leung was the teacher of Bruce Lee. Even though Bruce and Wong were both students of Master Ip Man, Bruce mostly trained with Wong, and he is credited for taking his striking to the next level. Wong used to be a part of the Wing Chun martial arts team. He competed in many tournaments, but we don't know much about them because there is not any video, and it was done secretly. The tournaments were different from MMA fights because the fighters only knew their master's fighting style. This was because there was no cross-training back in the 1950s, with Bruce Lee being the first person to encourage mixed martial arts. Number 6. Dong Hai Chuan Regarding this Wing Chun master, people think he started the Ba Kua Zhang or 8 Trigram Palm. Dong Hai Chuan is not considered the founder of Ba Kua Zhang, but he was the one who spread this knowledge to others before Dong Hai Chuan. Ba Kua's teachings were only given to Taoists. Did you know that before martial arts became widespread, it used to be a secret technique that only one person would learn? Some masters would teach this knowledge to just one disciple for thousands of years, and sometimes when the disciple died, the whole knowledge of this entire martial arts system died with him. 
Number 5. Tony Ferguson Tony Ferguson is a pretty respected martial artist and was once the top contender in his weight division, but now he is in second place to Khabib Nurmagomedov. Ferguson is known for his crazy mix of styles, but not everyone knows he does wing too. He usually traps the opponent's strike and then lands an elbow to the temple of their head. Though Ferguson is very skilled at Muay Thai, wrestling, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, it is clear that he also has a lot of skill in Wing Chun. Number 4. Anderson Silva Anderson Silva is a Wing Chun expert who did more than Tony Ferguson. Silva also trained Wing Chun even though he didn't use it in the octagon. He has achieved a lot in MMA also and has won the middleweight championship 10 times, which is something that will never happen again. Anderson Silva is also known for being able to do many different things. He has mastered Muay Thai, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and Wing Chun. This person moves and hits really hard. Silva has never had a rival in MMA or Wing Chun. Number 3. Wu Mei Wing Chun is a new style of Kung Fu. It was founded by a woman, Wu Mei. She started it at the famous Shaolin Temple in China. Wu Mei felt that she could create a better martial arts style. She knew how to use all the other styles, but wanted a better way without too much strength or time. According to legend, a woman named Wu Mei watched a fight between a stork and a large rodent and was impressed by how the stork used its wings and feet at the same time. She adapted this technique to make her own unique martial art. The art later took the name of her student, Yim Wing Chun, which means everlasting springtime. Number 2. Ip Man Ip Man is the most famous Wing Chun master of all time, and we surely can't miss him on this list. He taught many other people who are on this list including Bruce Lee and Wang Shun Leung. A true martial artist, Ip Man descended from Wu Mei. He made Wing Chun popular. We can only see footage of Ip Man in modern day movies, but these are not accurate because everything is theatrical and exaggerated. Ip's legacy is the global practice of Wing Chun. He was an extraordinary athlete and several movies are also made on his life and abilities. Number 1. Bruce Lee And finally, Bruce Lee, the most accomplished martial artist of all time. He was the first to make mixed martial arts. He knew that a person could never be best with just one style. Lee used to be a student of Ip Man and Wong Shun Leung. He gained a lot of his fame in movie deals from learning their art, but later realized he needed to learn other styles too if he wanted to become the best. Bruce Lee always fought in the Wing Chun style, but he changed some of the things that he did not think were suitable for tournaments. Lee did not like the rules of Wing Chun. He found out what worked and what didn't work. Some people might agree with him on this point. So that's all for you for today's video. I hope you all loved it. To remain updated and get new information, make sure you subscribe to our channel and also press that notification icon. Which of these Wing Chun Masters impressed you the most? Make sure to tell us in the comments section. Till our next video, stay safe and healthy.